Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Fable The Lost Chapters. Um, since last time I did get the Squirm's Bow, I'll show you that. And all I did is, well, what I said I did, as I waited till the... the... just before daytime, and I, uh, sacrificed one of the, uh, guys, and I got it, so... And it... it you might want to put the, um... The bright will user's outfit on because that um ups your good alignment for you. So that should help you. Right now is I'm trying to find all the books in this area because I don't have all the books that I need yet for that book collector's collection. I've raided Oakvale already. So I got all the books I need from there. I and you remember I I raided the guild. I got all the books I needed from there. But there's some books here that I don't know. I don't have. I'm pretty sure. Nothing of interest. I'm pretty sure I've done all this. But I'll just double check. Okay, I'm gonna go to the book guy and just see. Because I have to do this in order to get that, uh... Get that silver key that I want. I'm gonna be a hero like you. Ooh, do you have a donation? Ah! The trials are up. Sure. Thank you, hero. I'm sure. Once upon a time, <laughs> in a village by the sea, lived a boy called Arkham. With his family. Peaceful were their lives for many a year. Till one day, a band of savages did appear. Destroyed that peaceful village by the sea. And killed the poor boy's family. But of Arkan himself, they found no trace. For the boy had hid in quite a safe place. And though he wished to help in his heart, he stayed hidden till the savages did depart. Then he emerged to find his whole family killed, and the streets of the village with corpses filled. Oh, dear me, this really is the most unoriginal talk. <laughs> that's really funny because, uh, well, that's the story of this fable. Any books for other? Ah, it lifts one's spirits to see a hero take such a keen interest in education. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Twas in the latter days of the kingdom old that a boatload of travelers, wheat and rice, fleeing our land for fear of the sword, discovered an island that was true paradise. There were they welcomed by the native folk with gifts of fruit and fowl and pig and trout and a strange kind of ale brewed from egg yolk that the refugees drank till it knocked them out. Soon they were stirred from their peaceful slumbers by the splattery coughs of their gracious hosts who had taken ill and were dying in numbers of colds their visitors had brought to their coasts. Ere long, the kindly natives were all but extinct, and as they knew not how to gather nature's bounty, the fate of the foreigners to theirs was linked. They died of starvation, though surrounded by plenty. A few local survivors did their paradise rebuild. Erecting this time a great fortress in the sand. It would stop them once more getting killed. Lest those bad, um, bad people from Albion return to their land. Or. Any books for us to Why, this book would be perfect. I've yet to meet a child who isn't fascinated by dragons. Why don't you stay and listen, hero? Yeah, yeah. 
A long time ago, well before the age of the Old Kingdom, the skies of Albion were full of fearsome, majestic dragons. They flew wherever they wished, ate the people's livestock, rained down fire on their villages, and distressed their damsels. Then came the kingdom of Archon, and with it heroes who hunted the dragons for sport, almost driving them to extinction. Before long, every home in Albion had dragon scale curtains, dragon claw back scratchers, and dragon foot paperweights. The few remaining dragons fled to the northern wastes, and there they remain to this day. Though they are nowhere near as powerful now as they once were, they still represent a hero's ultimate test. No. Okay. Well, we got we turned in some books at least. So hooray for that. Oh, let's um. Uh, so I appears we're gonna have to continue doing that. No worries. All right, there is one in. Northern Bowerstone, I do believe, that I want to try and get. Northern Bowerstone, Bowerstone North, whatever one you choose to say. <laughs> yeah, I really haven't looked through this place thoroughly for stuff. So let's give that a shot. Great, it's you. That's the one that I need. That's all I need from this area. So let's go teleport to um I want to go to Oh, not Hogglyde. There it is. <laughs> I'm gonna try and donate my money to the temple and see what happens. I'm gonna donate, like, all of it. Like, jeez. I didn't get the title of Necromancer from the Ch Temple of Scorm, though. But I did get some of my life knocked off as well, like some of my age. If you keep sacrificing people, eventually you'll get, like, uh... The, uh... Necromancer title. And if you keep doing that to, um. Haha. Oh. And if you keep doing it for the, uh. Um, the Temple of Avo, you'll get e the Paladin title. And you'll get some life knocked off, too. But I really want. All I really want is the. the weapon. The legendary weapon. And you can donate at a specific time as well, and it'll get more for you. At least I think so. I don't know. Maybe not. Anyways. Hopefully I'll make it in time. Nope, not gonna bother. Run! <laughs> Maybe next time I'll actually start with uh, right. getting on with the storyline and stuff. Because uh, we still have to do that fire hurt thing. I'm going to have to turn in more of those books. Jeez. I wonder how many more times I have to do that. <laughs> wow. Anyways, we're here. I took the long way around, but hey. Oh, the guy does come back eventually. I wasn't sure if the mercenaries came back. Welcome to the Temple of Light. Let's donate. 
I'll donate a hundred thousand. How about that? It's gonna take a while to get up to that amount of money. It's basically how you do it. Not quite that much. I want to get my freaking thing already. Okay, I'll go with 90,000. Oh man, this is hard to like get it to the right spot that you want it at. La la la. The gods are pleased by your donation. Very pleased. There we go. See now if we give one. Your rewards will be slight. Uh, Please be generous with your. <laughs> your rewards will be. Your rewards will. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah blah blah. Anyways, I got the item that I wanted, and I don't know if I got any more. Well, I did get some H knocked off, so that's good. I still didn't get that Paladin title, but, um, whatever. Let's go back. Check out that, uh, weapon. It's not as good as the Green Hammer. Sentence. Let's see. So cool. Cool beans there. Um... Let's go back to... Well, where was it? What were we supposed to do? Oh, I know. We were supposed to go to Bowerstone, right? For that, uh... That one quest with the dudes. The bandits, remember? Yeah. And then after that, we can finally get on with our story. here power store north I don't think lady grays around here during this time of day you might find her in the bedroom actually and that's the only time you can you know Woo her, so to speak. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? I forget. I think it is. If not, well, I can just end the episode here. I thought it was, so we'll find out, I guess. No, yeah, it's not. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this episode then, guys. Godspeed, stay frosty. We'll see you next time.